going to try to get into Padira Manal Island because I heard no bus services are there. If boat is available, we will try to get across on to Padira Manal and show you what exactly is Padira Manal. Right now, I am going to show you where it is. It lies over there. That island over there is Padira Manal Island. Currently, we are in Alapura district and we are, as you can see, as I told you, almost one fourth or almost three fourth of the uh, district is in the lake. So, this is the lakes and we are going to try to get into Padira Manal Island. Right behind me is the Vembenard Lake. As you can see, fishermen are trying to gather some fishes. It's very pure water over here. I don't know why our government is not trying to harness all these waters and make it drinkable to all our people. Then we won't have any problem of drinking water. Right now, this is the place where you can get very fresh Karimin fry fishes. I will try to get some, but I am not sure if I can show it on the show. But seriously, this is the place of Karimin and pure Naden Kal. Right now, I am standing on a tree that has been uprooted very recently. As you can see, all the branches are branching out. Behind me is the Vembanad Lake. If my step goes a little bit, maybe one inch is wrong, I am going to fall down. I will try to get out of here. It's very risky. I am going to show you what the roots look like. It's naturally impossible for any human to have a look at this one. But right now, we can show you only on the travel guide because it has been uprooted very recently. What you are watching is the roots, the behind of any tree. This is how it helps the soil erosion and everything. And the waste that humans have created. Look at here, the plastic cans that we left, the coconut and other are exceptional. But look at the thermocols, the plastics. Plastics takes almost 400 years to disintegrate into the soil. And we are leaving it behind. It's all because of us, because we have flood, because we have soil erosion, mudslide, everything. All the destruction to environment is being caused only by humans. So guys, this is the boat that we have over here, a five-seater boat that will take us across to the island of Padira Manal. So, from Kumaragam boat house to a small boat, let's enjoy this ride. A very tough one. We have only five seats available. It's gonna be a bit of humpy dumpy ride. As you can see, for the people who are uh, who have this sea sickness and all, it's very rough for them because this boat is not stable. But our destination just over there, the Padira Mandal. And we paid across 500 bucks for this ride. For you also, if you are coming down here, try to bargain for more. But we bargained and we got it for 500 bucks. Experiencing a heavy wind over this area, that's why we couldn't go straight over there. Because I told you it's very smooth, the water is very smooth, but it has a very good flow. And the air over here, it's like too much air. So that's why the boat captain, he told me like it's very difficult to go straight away. So he's trying to get us across the island. So here we are onto the banks of Padira Manal Island. We are close to one and a half kilometers from the other side. We were supposed to reach here by 10 minutes, but it took us close to 20 minutes because we had a heavy rush of wind. We traveled across. So let's explore what we have in Padira Island. I hope none of you has come over here. 
this is my first time I'm coming down over here. I am also curious what lies ahead of me. So guys, let's explore. This is what basically welcomes me into the Padira Manal Island. You can see a lot of waste created by us humans. Yet still, we have a board over here which says it's really eco-sensitive area. It has got a lot of different kind of trees, a different kind of flora and fountain or find over found over here. So basically, let's see if we can find something. I don't know anything about these plants, but still, if you can recognize, please help me. These stones laid down over here, like a walk through over this area. I hope we find something interesting because as of now, I don't know what lies ahead of us, especially we don't have any guide along with us. As on the travel guide, we never use guides. We just try to explore on our own. So basically, these are the only steps that lie in front of me and I'm trying to find what lies ahead with these steps. Basically, there are different types of floras around me. There are different types of butterflies around here. There are different types of spiders. As we came to know, there are almost 23 types of spiders. I'm literally interested in spiders and snakes and all. I'm trying to find if we can find anything. But the most important thing that firstly I find is, I hate to tell you this, but this. It's not an advertisement, guys, but it's how we are spoiling eco-sensitive areas. Especially places like this, they have to be preserved. Not for us, but for the coming generation. See, all the trees over here, they have been numbered. The, they are certain types of trees that we, we are not... Uh, we don't know what it is, but basically these are some kind of very good trees, very good flora and all, but I'm not sure what it is, so I can't describe. Basically, if you are a botany student, do try to come down over here and explore the real flora and fountain of this area. So guys, basically after walking close to 500 meters, I am here. The Padira Manal. Yes. The sand. I guess, I sincerely guess, this is Padira Manal. You come down over here with your friends. Don't come here alone because you will get bored. Basically like me because I don't have much to see around. I don't have much to explore. So come down along with your friends to have a nice drink. Maybe in the evening, maybe in the afternoon. It doesn't matter as long as you are over here. Plus you get to see a part of the Vembanad Lake that lies behind me. And of course, like we say on the travel guide, don't leave any waste like some foolish guys have left behind the bottles and all just come here sit down make sure when you are coming down in, in that boat make sure bring some snacks along with you some foods along with you i am damn hungry but when you are coming make sure you bring some foods along with you so that you can have it over here enjoy it on this beach this is an island of around maybe two kilometers of the circumference but still it's a very good nice place to come down over here monsoon or not you can come down over here anytime We are trying to find if we can see any of the creatures of this jungle but it's literally very hard to find any of those maybe because it's not evening yet see the different kind of trees their branches these are the real mangroves that preserve our forest that preserve the flora and fountain of the forest i literally feel like i am in a different world right now like i said earlier i was very very disturbed because I didn't find anything interesting over here in Padiramanal Island. But right now, what when I look around me, it's a very good jungle. It's really the tranquility of this jungle that I'm trying to breathe in, to sense, to know what mankind really is, to know exactly where we came from. I'm telling you, 100% sure, you have to come down over here, feel it. There's no noise, no cities hustle bustle. It's very close to the city, close to 300 kilo, uh, sorry, close to 3 kilometers only I'm away from the city. But still, I can't hear any traffic noise. I can't hear any other noise except the noise of the leaves and some of the animals and some of the birds. I'm hearing noises of some of the birds. I can feel a snake maybe like revolving or moving somewhere near me because I can feel that 
small sound of the leaves but i can see it i'm damn sure i can't see it i have to stay a little bit more which don't which i don't have any time for to stay back over here but seriously you have to be here to feel what tranquility really is sincerely superb So viewers that was Padira Manal for you now we travel on to our next location that i am not going to tell you right now but i am telling you it dates back to uh, 16th century 1500 something so we will go there and explore what it is so wait for that spot As I told you earlier, we have a surprise for you. That's being dated close to 16th century. This Kottayam Cheriyapalli. It's been built on 1579. That's close to 434 years from now. It's the most ancient church around over here. So we'll just try to get inside and know what specialties have been uh, are over there and how this church was built and what's the most important things and all. So let's take a tour of Kottayam Cheriyapalli. That's been built in 1579. Yes. So let's enter. As you can see there's a vast garden type over here, lot of roses, flowers and all. When I'm standing over here I can feel like all those all those yester years coming in because I'm really proud I'm standing on a soil that been invented or that been discovered in 1579. The church over here, there's a gopuram over here. Looks like it's a newly built. Now We'll try to enter inside the church and see what's inside. The first thing that we notice, especially the architecture, really it dates back. You can see a similar type on the temples that are around Kerala anywhere. So this is the main entrance. We got into uh, in through the side entrance because it's closed for the time being. It's open only for the devotees during the church hours. as you can see all the pillars that we can, that we see over here resembles all the old palace type of pillars these are the real original pillars they have been preserved very well and you can see the works that has been carried on and you see on the ceilings especially the carvings on the entrance then engena irunnu chaata idinte history nu parayao idinu parayana idu ipo 437 kollam alle ha 437 kollam thala ayi palakar undu rajakumarada kaalatha ee palli paniyund ha thalile ha 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 anna avare anuvadam padichondu ipo aadhi njangal ivada velli velli nu parayana ornu undu ha nanayakarade ha adu anna avadi irun ellarum koodi kondirunnu So that's how this uh, church came into being. Earlier there was a villa palli over there. On our way, it's it's over there. And then they had some disputes, and they changed on to this one. Uh, some of the devotees they uh, they were brought over here, and they started praying over here. They took special permission from the rulers at that time and built this church. All the replicas that you see over here, I like. Uh, they are like they have some representation through Bible. we get inside the doors especially that we see over here i had seen these type of doors especially on the palaces around maybe the shivaji palaces and all i have seen exact rep replica of this definitely those carpenters are they had these kind of ideas that's why you can see heavy doors
these are all the replicas, the biblical representations you can see over here. If you can zoom in over here, all the paintings, these are untouched. As you can see, I am not allowed to touch, nobody is allowed to touch. Actually, we should preserve these kind of paintings. Now, the same paintings, they have done nothing over here. Only the painting of Mother Mary has been touched up because it maybe it lost some of its texture. Else, all the paintings are same that has been done in 1579. So that's it. As they opened it especially for us. Thanks to them. Now we move on to look on the main structure of the church. See how beautifully carved it has been. If you look at the sim symbols, everything, wow. So old structures, we, can, we can't imagine like how much old the belief is if it goes to close to 434 years old. So we can believe like how people were at the time, like close to 434 years. They didn't have all these kind of modern machineries or equipment. Still they made these kind of marvelous structures. All we have to do is to preserve them. And the committee over here, they are doing it very well, as you can see around. So that was Kottayam Cheriyapalli, built in 1579. So viewers, as you can see, even the border walls that they created, so smooth and all, we can find the same structure in old uh, Hindu temples, in old Muslim uh, mosques and all. Because at that time, religion was not so important. People were important. Craftsmanship was important. Not like these days where we are fighting over religion and all. At that time, they had a great influence on uh, on the church, on the mosque, because we had Hinduism religion ruling over here and Hinduism culture has somehow influenced or somehow been carried on to making all these structures and all. This is the main entrance of Kottayam Cheriyapalli. So, viewers, as we came out of the church, uh, we went inside and no, I, 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 I sincerely think no other channel has gone so deep inside the church, especially we saw the original paintings that were done in 1579. So, this is your host Girish signing off. See you next week with a more adventurous journey. Till then, have fun, take care, love you all.